I have a lot to say, but I'm going to try and condense it. But, but let me just at least say a couple of things. A walk is not spectacular or impressive. Isn't that true? You know, my interest, and I said this some weeks ago, leans to the sensational action of Enoch being taken by God, somehow flying off to heaven. Sometimes we Christians prefer the sensational, the week-to-week injection, if you like, the razzmatazz of music and motivation. Now, there's its place, but walk. We need to see. Before he was taken to heaven, before the sensational, he was involved in the less spectacular reality of a daily walk with God for 300 years. Here is a man, we can learn from him, faithfully, diligently applied himself to walk with God. Steady, but slow, and yet disciplined, this movement toward a journey's end. We also need to see from this analogy to walk with God means that our lives must stay in step with God. Pleasing God means we must be aligned with God. And sometimes that's going to offend those who are not aligned with God. Those of us who keep in step with God, we ought all to keep in step with God, ought to know that it's a healed life of daily obedience to God in His Word, from His Word, through His Word, heading in the same direction as God. We don't run ahead of God. We don't lag behind God. We don't go in a different direction. We don't tell God to go in a different direction. Always staying in step with God. What I like about walking, uh, rather than running, I guess, is walking implies a greater intimacy and fellowship. Quite tough to talk to anybody when you're running up Fremontia Hill Street. You're out of breath and your heart is beating and your tongue is hanging out on your chest. But walking... You can talk. You can share some of your own thoughts and fears and joys. Getting to know the person you're working with. Sharing things that have happened in your lives. And and so walking with God is is this daily process of growing more and more intimate with Him. Sharing your life with Him. Learning from Him. Learning His ways. Getting to know what He's like. And then just perhaps another comment about walking. You got to do your own walking. We have our little granddaughter with us just for a couple of days. I have to say that. That's why I'm smiling this morning so much. Okay. But you know what? She can't walk yet. We've got to push her in a prayer or carry her in the arms. She can't walk. Yes, it's the same if you're an invalid. You can't use your legs. You've got to go in a wheelchair. But walking, Walking requires the individual to put one foot in front of the other foot. And again, and again, and again, and again. Taking responsibility that requires effort. And so we need to understand as Christians, as Enoch walked with God, it involved participation in daily spiritual disciplines of being in the Word, in prayer, in the presence of God. The competition to please in this life will test you. And it will test me again and again and again. It's been one of the common realities I've discovered even in pastoral ministry. Constant challenges. Those who would prefer that we choose to please them rather than God. And so... Can I remind you this morning that pleasing God is a way of life in total submission to God? Having come to faith. Very important. We're not speaking about salvation by works. It's a life of sanctification that follows justification through conversion. 